Ario Hawk tutorial part four. So I uh, I went back and fixed up the uh, bad ground control point I had before. I clicked on the wrong post, and that caused um, the scene to um, become a bit messed up when I did the bundle adjustment. So now um, I've up I've redone the bundle adjustment after correcting uh, the ground control point and as you can see now I have a, a ground, control point, ground control point error of only 0.22 and the scene, the points in the scene are uh, 0.5 so generally you should be less than one pixel uh, is, is, is good and so and checking out the scene all the points are looking nice and black and everything um, looks reasonably well lined up um, it's okay to have a few of these points uh, speckled around the place. That's okay. But if you find a whole group of points out in one in the wrong place, and some cameras flying off, then you probably want to go back and recheck. So once you're happy with the scene, then you can go to the next stage uh, of the dense point cloud creation. Uh, so let's click that. And uh, generally, using the default settings are fine. Um, if you want to um, you can increase the minimum number of images to three um, that just ensures um, the accuracy of the points found um, are seen by three cameras and not just two cameras um, but we'll just go with the default so we'll click OK and uh, this processing uh, can take quite a long time this could take a few hours to process um, these dense point cloud um, so again there's two steps to this um, first it will undistort the images and then it will do the dense point cloud which uh, can take quite a while so I'll just skip ahead. So when the dense point cloud is finished um, you should see a, a lot of coloured points like this um, and you can check um, that it looks sensible uh, that there's no points uh, flying out in the space underneath uh, the ground or up in the air. If they are, then you can um, use the selection tool uh, up here. You can click on the selection tool, and you can um, uh, you can use spacebar to use the camera rotation tool uh, while you're in the selection mode. You can, um, uh, if you like, you can select and remove any points uh, around the border. For instance, if you don't want them there, uh, like this, and you can uh, press delete to delete some points. Uh, and if you uh, do modify any points in the scene, then, then you need to click save uh, up here in the, in the sidebar before you go to the next step. If you don't modify anything, then you don't need to click save. Uh, so when you're um, happy with this, then you can go uh, on to the next step. Uh, you might find there's some holes, like uh, in the areas where there's been uh, water in the image, or forestry in the image, or something like this. Um, so this, uh, okay. or if you've had bad overlap uh, in some of the regions, um, like at the sides here on the edges, then that's to do with the capturing. So you can um, now click, uh, uh, you can s also, s if you want to export this out, you can make, sh make sure your layer is selected and then go um, save layer as and now you can save it and now you can save it out as a as an XYZ file or OBJ file uh, for instance. Um, but now we're going to generate a mesh, so we go to the next step and you choose a cell size, so we'll go one meter by default and I'll skip ahead. Oh yeah, that was making a grid, sorry. Now I go to make a mesh uh, and you have, uh, you can turn smoothing off if you've got a steep point, but normally you have smoothing on to give good orthos, so this will generate uh, a mesh. I'll skip ahead. Okay, and now we have a mesh, uh, so, and I'm just going to click create orthos and specify the resolution I want and then click OK. Orthos finished. And